Hey you guys, this is Baydad. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to talk about the bio section, the biology section of the DAT. Uh, this section is a bit notorious because there is just too much information on it, if you want to be honest. I wrote the American one and also the Canadian one, and for some reason I cut the same mark in both of them. I got 25, and like by no means you don't have to get 25 in order to be competitive for dental school. I think you can get like 21 or 22 and be all right. I just wanna share some tips and tricks in this video and hopefully it will come in handy when you're studying for your DAT. Um, the first thing is like how you actually go about studying this. And let me just break something to I even in my American, which is like the latest one that I wrote, I just didn't have enough time to go through all the material in order to like, you know, in order to like get that mark. I think you have to hit the high yield information first, like the, the one that you have to know before showing up to that exam. And then if you have time, just go and just tackle and attack the minutia details of the, of the material. And you know, how you would study for that is basically how you would study for any like biology course in your university. What I did, and I think what is at least what is the best and most efficient way for me to study is that basically, so for example, you read a section of the DAT um, and, and in our, for resources, by the way, you can use a DAT bootcamp and I think that's just more than enough. Um, you can go and use the Fry's notes in, I think in the student doctor network, they say is a must, is, is just, is really not a must. I mean, nothing is a must for DAT, especially for bio section. Um, so anyway, so how you would study, like based off your resource, it doesn't matter. Let's say you're using the DAT bootcamp. So, uh, you would go and read the material for, I don't know, half a page, a page, a paragraph, like whatever that you can like study and you can hold that information in your brain and then like put that aside for a moment get like a piece of paper or like a notebook that you can explain it to yourself active recall active recall is the one that's important and that's what you that's what you should be aiming at when studying for any type of material that you should regurgitate on the test not regurgitate but like have someone understanding and regurgitate Right. So you basically, this is how you go. Like you read the material, you just explain to yourself a couple of times and then like you move on and this is how it goes. Um, basically, I don't think you will have, an, like it depends on your schedule, uh, but you would just go through material and you're just gonna, you're just gonna keep forgetting material unless you have a stellar uh, memory, which I'm jealous of you. Uh, but so for a first run, you for a first run you you you, you study the material and by this method, and then you go and do the full tests, and right there, especially on DAT bootcamp, they have an explanation for you and see which areas you're weak on, and then go and tackle those areas. And here, if you want to write notes on it in a like in a notebook and keep that so you can review later on, this is the way to go. You can do that, and I think that's very efficient. That's kind of like the best way to go about it. But if you just, you know, if you're just like reading some 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 stuff on uh, on the AT bootcamp or Frolic notes, and then go and write a note on it, like come on, man, you're not gonna come back and read those notes. Uh, it's just gonna be a waste of time. Um, so hopefully this video was, I think it was a bit vague. Uh, but you know, this is just what I did and maybe like your method is better for yourself and my method is better for it, uh, for myself, but I think it's, it was kind of like helpful to just put it out there and hopefully, you know, you'll get something out of it. 